think I love you from head to toe. I love you from head to toe. I know. Oh, I used to love that song. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, January 9th, 2014. This is Jeffrey G. and Dutchman. Uh, if you're just tuning in and have never seen the show, welcome! Uh, what the hell is going on with Dennis Rodman <laughs> and Kim Jong-un? Uh, Dennis Rodman was on CNN yesterday crying uh, hysterically, or two days ago crying hysterically, and then um, denying rumors that he serenaded Kim Jong-un on his birthday. Uh, I don't know why he's so close to Kim Jong-un. Maybe he's in love. Beautiful stranger. In more crazy news, Nancy Grace was on Bethany this morning. Um, not yesterday morning, I'm sorry. And, um, First of all, Bethany, you dress like a schoolgirl. I didn't like that look on you, girl, but Nancy Grace was on. Oh, my gosh, she's crazy. She's like, they were trying to take this away from me before I came on. She got on her phone, and she was like, look at it at her nanny cam. I'm waiting for the kids to come in the door from the recital, the recital practice. And I'm like, okay, that bitch is crazy. But she knows her stuff to a T, and I would not mess with Nancy Grace. Heard? Oh, my God. So I literally wore what I wore to bed um, last night to work yesterday. Or two nights ago to work yesterday, because it was raining and so cold. Work was awful. Um, I had two tables, and I was cut. What, what? Uh, well, I just hate being out that cold, and... I felt sick the rest of yesterday, but I'm feeling a little wishy-washy today. Um, it is time to go for the quote of the day. Let go of thinking you have to know how to make it happen. We learn the way on the way. Very nice quote. I'm sure Kim Jong-un would love that. Alrighty, I was on GoDaddy.com. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, get the Jeffrey G. Show site up and going so I can run it myself. I heard it's easy. If anyone knows anything, email me, JeffreyTGiordano at gmail.com. Pretty soon, once I learn my new camera, I'm going to be able to edit better. And I might have things on the screen, like Chirons. It means something like with sayings. Um... So, Madonna, as you all know, broke up with her 26-year-old boyfriend two months ago. And now she is dating another 25-year-old uh, Latin dancer. Last night she dreamt of San Pedro. Hey, girl, I got you. I would too. Uh-uh-uh. We have the dopest Pope, by the way. Uh, pope Francis broke another severe Pope code um, when he was in the Pope Mobile doing his daily tour around the Vatican and waving. He saw one of his friends in the crowd, one of his boys back in the day, and invited him in the Pope Mobile. And the guy came and just started talking. He's in, you know, he admitted to being an ex bouncer. And he let the little kid be on stage with him and sit in the chair. That, this is like the raddest Pope ever. Um, if anyone's down, I just want to say it always gets better. So just keep that in mind and keep your head up. The People's Choice Awards were on last night, and I will admit and I will say... Beth Bears and the other girl, I don't remember her name. Um, I said it on the show yesterday. 
But um, they were did a fabulous job hosting. Uh, it was cute. They were funny. I really liked it a lot. And of course, Ellen won her 14th People's Choice Award. Justin Timberlake won. Um, Sandra Bullock won. Queen Latifah won for Best New Talk Show Host. And Sarah Bareilles sang Brave, which I sang yesterday. So, um, this is really sad, but I was reading like the top five stupidest dogs, and coming in at number one is the Chihuahua. <laughs> of course, I have two. And it says, the tiny Chihuahua often has a big personality, and part of that personality is his single-minded determination to have things his way. That's very true, Dutch. A trait that can be troublesome for owners who don't put in necessary training time. The fact that the Chihuahua tends to focus for their love and loyalty on just one person um, is not good. And the tendency owners have to let these little dogs get away with whatever they want to is not good. Chihuahuas are small size and it makes us perceive them as not the brightest of breeds, although one could argue that it's what actually makes him smart. Whatever, he is smart. Whoever wrote that article or did that study, I don't want to hear it. And I got, really quickly, one top ten list for you. Um, the top ten ways air travel will change in 2014. Number ten, private Jets get more affordable. Very nice. Number nine. In-flight phone calls on cell phones will be allowed. Hell no. Mm -mm. I got a picture of my black girlfriend, Tracy, at work being like, Ma'am? Ma'am? You need to get off that damn phone because this is a small airplane. We all don't want to hear a damn conversation. Dumb bitch. She so would say that. Number eight, we are going to pay more uh, fees. Number seven, finally, we will have do-it-yourself uh, bag tags. Six, transatlantic budget. Airlines uh, makes a huge comeback. Number five, airlines will be battling for bi-coastal business flyers. And number four, the seat squeeze gets worse because they're making the seats smaller to add in more seats. Number three, in-flight Wi-Fi will be ubiquitous, like it will be everywhere. And number two, air travel taxes will get higher. And coming in at number one, security improves as they have pre-check takeoffs, like an easy pass lane. And, you know, that's all you really need if you walk through the detector, you put your bag on the thing, everything goes through, there's no beeps, you go through security. And I'm sure they have, like, one person monitoring. Smart idea. Hello, people. Anyways, have a great Thursday. And to all my new Facebook groups, hi. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. www.youtube.com slash user slash Jeffrey Giordano Show. We'll see you tomorrow. Cause we got a lot of stuff to do Cause we will say what we want to say And let the words fall out Honestly, I want to see you be brave Thank you. I know I should be on Broadway, right? Just kidding. We'll see you Friday. Bye.